What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Life of Lauren. It's been so long since I did a sit down video or even talked about details of my pregnancy and how that's going. So I thought today would be a good day to start that. I feel like my life has been very chaotic and busy and I just woke up and I'm in the third trimester and I'm about to have a baby. So for starters, how is the third trimester going for me? It's going pretty good. I can't believe I'm here already. It's, I used to be obsessed with learning about every single thing that was happening with my baby and the development and just life has been crazy. So I haven't paid as much detail or just been on YouTube obsessing over that. So it's cool to have my pregnancy app and say like, oh, your baby is stretching today, which that app is so accurate, by the way, it's just the flow app and like, I remember in the beginning of my pregnancy, for example, when I ate something, I was like, this tastes so disgusting today. Why does this taste disgusting? And then my phone was like, ding, today food might taste like metal. Or the first time I felt my baby, I guess, stretch, like I felt movement on two opposite sides of my stomach. My phone was like, ding, today your baby's gonna be stretching. So either it's listening to me or it's super accurate, but it's just so many, amazing developments that are happening with my baby right now and that's cool to experience he moves so much like i'm telling you when i get out of bed to pee in the middle of the night i swear to you i'm like try not to move him because if he wakes up he's kicking me and keep kicking me it's just it's amazing and beautiful it is tiring i find myself being like dang why am i so tired these days and i'm like oh i'm pregnant or even at the gym when I'm on Stairmaster, I'm like, I'm getting really out of shape, not even remembering that, like there's all this weight here now. So it's really like holding a dumbbell while being on Stairmaster. So just changes that are still, it just goes by so quick. I feel like my body is changing faster than my mind can keep up with. But overall, pretty, it's pretty good. I, like I said, I'm working a lot and I have a work trip coming up and then my baby shower and after that I have a full month before my baby gets here that I can just chill and not go to work in person. So I'm very, very much looking forward to that. Do I feel prepared for the baby? Absolutely not. Not yet. <laughs> I don't have a crib. I don't have a stroller. I don't have a car seat. None of those physical things yet, but my baby shower is at the end of this month. So I think once I have those and get everything situated, I'll feel more prepared. Also emotionally, it's been a roller coaster. Just recently, thinking about like last Friday, I've cried I think three times thinking about how I'm not gonna have, it's just not gonna be me and Josiah anymore. And that's kind of, there's so much joy in that, but there's just a part of you that's like, oh my gosh, it's not gonna be just us. But then by the end, poor, poor Josiah, he was like, hugging me he's like it's okay it's exciting and then at the end I'm like aren't you so excited like my emotions are everywhere and it's hard to process that you're gonna gain this amazing beautiful child but you're also this chapter of just you and your husband is ending so that's a lot to to process emotionally what pregnancy symptoms am I having I feel like what am I not having um my sciatic nerve pain and my hip pain is horrible like I've had to, mostly I go on walks now or do arm workouts and I love hitting legs. I love doing all of that. But even this morning, you know, I woke up at 5 a.m. so I can get a home workout in. I felt so excited. And then I stepped out of bed and literally I almost fell to the ground because my hip was in so much pain. So those things can be kind of frustrating because I feel like I have no control over them, but it's just part of it. I know my hips are expanding right now and the sciatic nerve pain is something that's common I've developed a lump in each of my armpit, which was a little bit scary at first. I had to get an ultrasound. I'm actually still waiting on those, but it can be a lot of things. It could be your breast tissue moving into your armpit. It can be a milk dud that grows milk, milk dud. <laughs> That's my favorite candy and I've been eating those a lot. <laughs> milk duck <laughs> in my armpit. Um, it could be a lot of different things. So I'm waiting on those results. It's been like two weeks, but those should be coming in. Obviously fatigue, everything upsets my stomach. Weight gain. I have been gaining weight in weird places. In my armpits, that's weird. In my arms, my thighs, and that's my face. 
I guess I am kind of gaining weight or it's just like swollen. I noticed some days I can't even put some of my rings on. So that's been an adjustment, which is putting me into the next topic, which is have I gained weight? I've already gained 22 pounds and I still have nine weeks left. So that has been kind of something hard to process because probably the past four years, I've only fluctuated like two pounds and I have never even cared about a scale because I kind of always knew it would be the same number. So to see such a drastic jump and then being like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to gain the most in the last 10 weeks and I'm barely getting there now is like, wow, that's a lot. It, it's just hard for your mind to process that when you've worked out so long and been the same weight for so long. Stretch marks. I have gotten stretch marks on different areas of my body, multiple different areas, but not on my stomach yet, which a lot of people say uh, genetics have a lot to do with it, which my mom didn't get stretch marks on her stomach. I don't right now, I do use like the cocoa butter, but I barely started that maybe five weeks ago. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I also see videos where girls didn't have stretch marks all the way until the last two weeks and then they got a bunch. I guess that's just part of it too. It is kind of weird seeing them on your body in new places, again, so rapidly, just literally from one week to the next, all these different changes, but it comes with it. Something cool that I want to talk about is I do have a doula which is just kind of a person who's an extra support for you, not only throughout your pregnancy, but primarily when you're giving birth, they can be in the room or, the, the reason I really wanted a doula is not only am I, I feel, I feel like I really don't know what to expect from the birth process. It gets really confusing. I just recently found out that not everybody's water breaks and I was like, what? So you can just get contractions and then go into labor and your water never breaks. And what I really, really don't want is to be at the hospital for like 17 hours. I think my mom was there 17 hours for my brother and like 21 hours with me. And I feel like if I have a doula who can kind of check me and see, she's just better able to determine if it's a good time for me to go to the hospital, if I'm close to giving birth or if I can stay at home a little while longer in the comfort of my home, still getting assistance with her help, but not having to physically be at the hospital. What she's also helped me with, my doula, is a birth plan, which a birth plan basically serves as this piece of paper you can give to the head nurse when you get to the hospital, who just has kind of guidelines of how you want your birth to go which I'm grateful for a birth plan because I'm able to write down my expectations and what I really care about, I guess, while I'm in a sober state of mind and not in pain and just like, give me whatever. So that's helpful. Some of the things on this birth plan include if I want an epidural, which I feel like a lot of people think I want a natural birth. I absolutely do not want a natural birth. I want an epidural, like give it to me right away. I, I'm horrible with pain. I don't want to feel it. If I need stitches, I don't want to feel those. I don't know if I'm going to tear. All these things that are on my mind all the time that are just like, oh, I don't want to know that. I don't want to feel that. I want a lot of kids in the future, so let's just not remember the bad parts. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. So give me the epidural. Things like different vaccines that I want my baby to have. I can think about those and look them up beforehand so I'm not making some big decision for my baby right in that moment. If Josiah is gonna be at the shoulder or like holding my leg, which we actually haven't decided on that. I don't really care. He's not really a blood guy, but I think he's gonna to wanna to see it. That's my guess. My guess is that he's gonna be, he's gonna be all not nosy. He's gonna be curious. He's gonna be, I think so. I don't know if he'll pull out the baby. But, and I don't know if I'll need a C-section. See, these are so many things to think about. It even asks like, would you prefer a C-section? Which obviously no. All kinds of different questions that are a lot to think about and really overwhelming. So a doula does help with the process of understanding each question and answering in a way that I'm gonna be comfortable with. All the way down to, do you want music in the room while you're giving birth? Which I've considered having worship music, but really low because I get overwhelmed when it's too much noise, or you can even hang the lights in your room to have like, I don't know, set the tone of what you want it to be like. So really interesting things I would have never thought of without a doula. All right, you guys, 
There was a lot to update you on from here on out. I'm probably gonna have a lot of pregnancy content. I have my home makeover. My couches are finally coming in after what I think is like eight weeks. So I'm so excited to share all those things with you. I'll be getting stuff for the nursery soon, hopefully. And yeah, I'm just so excited. It's all about the baby from here on out. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment if you have any recommendations specifically for hip pain or back pain because that will, that is just killing me right now. And don't forget to describe, describe, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.